so today i don't really know how we're starting this video <laughs> happy new year everyone well it's after the new year but i hope you're having a good new year so far regardless um i kind of mentioned in vlogmas if you watched vlogmas that i thought about doing a new year vlog so kind of just vlogging some different changes i'm wanting to make in the new year definitely cleaning and organizing which i know we'll be doing cleaning and organizing videos so those are coming those are going to be a separate started i revisit it every year i try to stay in tune with it and what's going on but with my uh working out situation and eating fruits and vegetables things like that ha all that's gone pretty much down the drain uh i pretty much become the candy queen and I think there's definitely some room to add some healthier choices into my life, hoping to get some of that energy back and positivity back. And um, that's what we're aiming for. So, so I figured this vlog, I don't even know what my expectations are with this vlog. I just figured maybe we could start some healthier habits around here. And I know it's gonna go more outside of this vlog. It's not gonna happen overnight. But um, if you like these types of videos, I can keep doing some of these like daily life type of videos and habit forming videos. And um, we could be each other's accountability partners if you're going through a similar journey. So um, Dallas and I got each other a Christmas present that I'll show you here, because I'm gonna work out here in a second. Dallas is actually down there right now working out, but it's gonna be part of my exercise routine. Basically what we're gonna do is today, um, I'm gonna work out here in a minute. And then I thought we would go to Costco tonight and get some stuff. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, I was gonna go to Aldi and get some stuff. Anyways, so that's what we're doing. Dallas just came up from his workout, so we're gonna go down next and I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. All right, so this is what Dallas and I got each other for Christmas. It's a whole workout machine. It's kind of like, if you know what the mirror is, it's like a big mirror with a screen and you work out. If you've seen that commercial, it's kind of like that, but it has arms on it. So it's actually like a workout machine. So it has weights and stuff. One of the reasons we didn't like gyms was because we just never wanted to go. And so we had looked at weight machines and we ended up going with this because it's a little bit more discreet. Called Tonal, by the way. If you've seen the commercials on this, then you know. It's not sponsored. So I'm gonna be doing a strength workout today. So <laughs> this is gonna be entertaining because I'm really out of shape. All right, here we go. We're gonna do it. Remember, we're not striving for perfection, we're striving for expansion. All right, find yourself in a good way to stand. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. All good. Oh. Ghouls that thrust together. <laughs> Stay spooky together. <laughs> oh, not a plank. Reach hands up the side. Good. Walking in. Good. What? Go. There's more? Come on, we'll push through. Note that my arms are out one knot and parallel. Match that. Both those matches come all the way down and always make sure they're left in place. Chest is tall, weight goes on. Let's go now. You're so low right now. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Keep your eyes on that dial. Okay. When you are on your way up, Right about now, if you're on my tempo, you will drag your hips high as you press your feet down. What the heck kind of gumby? Now for 30 seconds, and have it. Hurry, hold on, wait for me. That's it, you just hold it. This is way harder than it looks. And she can tell you, I'm a real human. This one sucks. All right, hey everyone, we're back. Uh, my camera died as I was working out. And which is probably for the best because I was complaining the whole time. <laughs> but uh, I finished my workout. I actually completed it, which I'm proud of myself. Had a little bit of lunch, nothing fancy because we haven't gone to the store yet. Then I got ready and put on an entire unplanned face outfit whole thing. It's wild the energy you get from exercising. Hold on, let me set you up here so we can chat. So, um, I'm all ready to go to Costco. <laughs> it's just a little cold to be wearing just this top. So I put on a sweater, but it is like a full on golden girls, gothic golden girls moment. <laughs> but yeah, it's amazing how a workout can help clear my mind. Like I just feel 
more energized, which I know this is what I need to do anyways. And I know it just gets better as you exercise and eat better and all that kind of stuff. I know this is all important. Ultimately this year, I, I, I don't wanna put too much pressure on myself to do a ton, like just have this long list of New Year's resolutions that I don't stick with. I think for me, my main goal this year, and I'm saying this cause I'm, I don't know if anyone else out there can relate or if you've been searching for the same thing, but it's like that whole mind body connection. I feel like I've made efforts over the last several years when it comes to mental health. I've been open about that. I've talked about it. But I'm trying to make efforts to take care of my body as much as I'm taking care of my mind right now. And I think a lot of it goes hand in hand as well. So working on my mental health has been a huge game changer for me, especially just addressing certain things that I was trying to avoid, <laughs> which is a big thing for me. But I didn't know where to start and I wish I would have had this resource. So I wanted to mention the sponsor for today video which is cerebral if you haven't heard of cerebral before cerebral is an online mental health platform that provides access to ongoing online prescription management counseling and therapy for anxiety depression insomnia and other conditions also treatment for adhd bipolar and ptsd may be available depending on your area what really stood out to me about cerebral was when i was first getting started with my mental health journey, I had no idea where to start. I mean, looking into everything, there were tons of results. I didn't know if I was ready or comfortable um, and wanted to sit in a waiting room or call up somebody randomly and hope they can help me kind of thing. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but that was kind of my, my, my initial reluctancy. So I really wish I would have had something like Cerebral at the time, uh, because first of all, Cerebral offers online convenience and privacy. Everything can be done online, um, and also you don't have to sit around in a waiting room. You can visit with your provider, your therapist, or your counselor, all from the comfort of your home. Also, Cerebral offers a comprehensive care model where your doctor and your therapist can be in communication with each other. Also, Cerebral is affordable with or without insurance. Therapy with Cerebral can cost three times less than traditional therapy services. With Cerebral, you fill out a short online form and you answer a few questions to help Cerebral understand your symptoms. Then from there, you can choose to subscribe to one of three different membership options based on your needs and your budget. The medication and care counseling plan, the medication and therapy plan, and the therapy plan. And then from there, what I really liked about Cerebral is, is that Cerebral matches you with different providers so you can see the providers and find the right match for you. Also, Cerebral offers a convenient mobile app which is available on Google Play and the Apple Store. So if you'd like to take the next step on working on your mental health, click the link down in my description box to get started on the questionnaire, get matched with a provider right away. The first month starting at just $30. Uh, whether you're just getting started and don't know where to look, or if you've been working on your mental health, but you just haven't found the right therapist or counselor or, or psychiatrist, it's always good to be with somebody that you feel comfortable with and um, that's the part that I was like, I just don't know if I want to pick up the phone and call a total stranger. It can feel scary. So you want somebody that you can, you know, feel like you can open up to and talk to and trust. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get dark and I'm just sitting here in the dark. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just sitting here jabbing my jaws, but I have so much energy. <laughs> it's good. Anyways, we're going to go to Costco. All right, we're here at Costco. It is another day in 2022 paradise. <laughs> it's one of my favorite type of days. It is a gloomy, overcast situation out there. It's really cold out, but I don't even care because it's so gloomy. It is another day of us implementing some healthier habits, some things we're gonna be I don't know what we're doing, but we're, we're trying real hard, all right? <laughs> so this morning, we're gonna try to get out early and we're gonna go to Aldi 
and get some vegetables, like whatever we didn't get at Costco last night, we're gonna go get at Aldi today. And then uh, hopefully it's not too busy. I'm gonna try to get out early enough to where I don't think a lot of people are gonna be there yet. We're gonna get some veggies and stuff. So for my workout or some sort of active activity that we're doing today, kind of the rest day or like, I can't remember, like whatever recovery day. I'm wanting to possibly meditate tonight, but I, I'm struggling with that, y'all. Let me know in the comments if you also struggle with meditation or if it gets better. It's something that I've tried to do for a while and it's just, I've gone to classes, I've done it at home, I've used apps, I've watched things, I've tried to do it by myself, and it just seems to not, <laughs> I'm just, it's, it's a struggle. We're gonna keep going and see if it, if it gets easier or better. And I've incorporated crystals before or intentions and cards and everything. And I feel like it just, it's just one of those things that is a little bit more of a struggle, which is probably not surprising because you know, my mind is a wandering, distracted, chaotic situation in there. So anyways, now I'm just jabbing my jaws because I'm procrastinating going out in the cold, but we gotta go to Aldi, so we're going. All right, we're on our way to Aldi. So I'll see you guys there. Flemmy the Flamingo is back, y'all. All right, we're here at Aldi. So I figured we'd make a little dinner together. I found this recipe. Found this one on Pinterest, let me just tell ya. What's it called? Instant Pot, which I basically broke the lid to my Instant Pot the minute I pulled it out. So of course that had to happen, but I think it's gonna work because the seal is still intact, but we'll see, hopefully it doesn't explode. Um, Instant Pot wild rice soup with mushrooms and spinach, it looks delicious has a ton of vegetables in it so far i've cut up celery carrots mushrooms and onions and then there's also spinach in this recipe so i felt like this was loaded with veggies sounds delicious looks delicious and it doesn't look like i have to sacrifice taste for a healthy meal and that's kind of what i'm wanting that good balance of something that tastes really really good something that also has a lot of vegetables and stuff. Uh, anyway, so I cut up all this stuff. We're gonna get started. So it's two tablespoons of olive oil, so we're just gonna eyeball it. Onions and mushrooms and stir for five to seven minutes. We are not prepared for this. Onions and mushrooms are going in. Hopefully this is the right size. I look like Albert Einstein. I, I will have this, this Thing. This recipe linked in the description box for you. No, yes, description box. I, I I always can. I always mix up description box and comment section. But I'll have this down in the description box for you, uh, in case you want to make this. But if it doesn't taste good, then I I'll let you know. All right, it's kind of steaming up right now, so I don't know if you can see in there, but. We're in the liquid stage of the mushrooms. So we gotta let this liquid cook off. Once the mushrooms start browning, we put in the garlic and some white wine, which is optional, but I like it. You know, I'm, I'm all about the white wine. And then the garlic in, we're not waiting another minute. Is this enough liquid that cooked off? So let's add the rice. So I'm gonna add the rice, all right? Add the rice and saute for one minute. Okay. It's kind of sticking to the bottom, so it said I could use some white wine. So I'm gonna do that, about a fourth of a cup it says. I don't know how much that is, but I think that's enough. Okay, so I put some white wine in this. So the carrots and the celery are going in. It smells so freaking good. Carrots and celery, veggie broth. Okay. Which is four cups of veggie broth going in. Uh oh. And a couple of 
the water. Thyme. How much thyme is in here? I also wanted to put some of this umami mushroom. Since this is a mushroom dish, why not add a little bit more mushroom in there? I thought maybe that would work. Salt. Pepper. I'm gonna use some red pepper flakes in there. A little spicy, spice it up. Spice up your life. Let's taste this little bite of mushroom. Mm. So then I'm gonna set this on high for 24 minutes. I can't stop eating it. All right, I just finished letting the steam out. And now we're gonna see what it looks like in there. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells unbelievable. Looks delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. I might add some soy sauce to this or something. I don't know, that kind of sounds good. Well, we'll taste it first. All right, we're gonna try this. It looks so good, it smells so good. It also looks very hot, but we're gonna try it. Oh my gosh, this bite looks so... Wait, we gotta get mushrooms in here. This bite looks so good. It is steaming because it's so cold out. Wild rice. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> and mushroom soup. I love a good soup. Hot. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is exactly like a cold gloomy, drizzly evening. This hits the spot. Mm. Mm. His Dallas is coming down, he's got the dogs upstairs. If you're wondering where he's at while I'm cooking anything, he's usually holding down the fort upstairs with the dogs. You know, they get Bailey paces, all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm gonna take this over to the table. We're gonna eat, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's another day. If you hear a loud noise, I've got the air fryer going. I've been cleaning all day and filming and cleaning and filming together. So you know those cleaning videos are coming. Uh, making sure Bailey just, okay. I thought I saw a turd, but I didn't. If you hear a loud noise, I've got the air fryer going. Figure we could do, this is like a very, very late lunch slash early dinner situation. Means is already having a whole fit about it. When you want to say hi, you want to say hi? I know all this food is right here, are you drooling? You are. We're gonna make a quick little pita situation, I think, and just do a fully loaded pita. I already toasted them. Got these pitas from Costco. They're gluten-free. I'm all excited about it because I haven't had pita in 5,000 years. So I want to make a little pita situation. I also got some falafel, which is in the air fryer, and I cut up some veggies. I still need to slice up some cucumbers, which we'll do here in a second. But I'm all excited, I'm starving. All right, so we're gonna slice up some cucumbers really quick. I'm just gonna use the mandolin. This is the easiest and fastest way to slice up some cucumbers. Super easy, as long as you don't cut your finger off, we're good. So my falafel is done. We're just trying to cut up these, get these cucumbers sliced, which I wanna have these anyways. These are good, to, I like to throw them in a salad or eat some with hummus or, you know, put it in a sandwich or even on an open-faced sandwich. I do like cucumber, maybe some avocado, some, I wish I had some red onion. That's the one thing I forgot. All right, so I already toasted these. I like pitas toasted, but do what you like. And I cut into them to make a little pocket so I could put all of my goods in there. So I'm just gonna start with, I'm gonna start with my spreads, like all the good stuff. So I'm gonna put some Sabra hummus in there. I'm gonna take a big old glob of it and put it inside my pita and just kind of smear it around with my knife. I'm not doing anything too fancy. This doesn't have to be like five-star restaurant situation, although it's gonna taste really good. I have a good feeling about this one. Just put as much as you like. If you don't like hummus, don't put hummus in there. Just put what you like. If you like ranch, load it up, do what you do. I'm also gonna put this Hellman's vegan dressing and spread. I'm gonna put into this as well. Wait, where's my hole? There it is. Put it on the other side. We put a good amount because we don't want this to be dry. That's the last thing you want is a dry. Per usual, I'm not mature enough for this life. 
I'm gonna put a little sriracha in there. We'll put some on the top too, but I like to have that spiciness on the inside too. This is like all watery. Didn't shake it, that's my bad. We're gonna put in some lettuce. I already cut up some lettuce. Put some lettuce in there, yum. It's just romaine, got it from Aldi. Stuff it in there. Oh wait, shoot, I forgot to put the queso in there. That was the best part. Okay, we can put it in now, that's fine. Got this vegan queso situation at Costco and it doesn't taste like queso at all. If you're expecting cheese dip, you're gonna be disappointed, but it is really good regardless. It has its own taste to it, but I like it. I'm just dumping this literally in there because it's a little liquidy, it kind of drips everywhere. Uh-oh, got on the outside, my bad. All right, we're also gonna put some on the top. So we got that in there. It kind of tastes like, kind of like hummus. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's not, it doesn't taste like cheese dip. So don't expect cheese dip. All right, so I'm gonna kind of break up this falafel. You can stick the whole thing in there, but I like to break it up so you get pieces down in there. Just kind of crumble it up a little bit. Push it down into the, once again, keeping it mature, Jade. It's the new year, new me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, then we're gonna reach over here in the cucumber area. We're gonna put some cucumbers in there. I like a lot of cucumbers. So fresh, so delicious. Lots of cucumbers, we're stuffing this thing. Oh, we're also gonna put some, chopped up some cherry tomatoes. We're gonna put this in here. Make it a whole situation. Then we'll put a little more falafel, maybe a little bit more lettuce. Just make it look nice and colorful. So freaking good. So now that we have this whole, that looks delicious, doesn't it? So now I'm gonna put this queso. We're gonna drizzle this on top, a little bit of queso. You can also put some tzatziki sauce. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, or some, ranch or whatever you like. We're gonna also put a little more sriracha because we like it hot. You know, just a little sriracha. Okay, there's that one. Uh-oh, that just slopped off. That's fine. This one still needs falafel. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat this. Okay, so now grand finale, put some queso on top. I feel like these kind of things, you can just put whatever you have in your fridge, uh, in it, on top of it, whatever you're doing. Okay, here we go, we're biting into this guy. Mm. After not having a pita for so many years, so good. Mm. I put all the sauces on it, cause I'm a freak. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I'm just so into this, I can't even turn off the camera. I'm just sitting here eating this whole thing. Oh man, it's good. Mm. You're right over there, Bailey. Bailey's pacing around because he wants me to take him up and tuck him in bed. He's been doing this thing lately where he wants me to tuck him under the covers and then he just wants to lay in bed by himself. <laughs> Which is totally fine, but what's not fine, once he's ready to get up, he just starts like thrashing around and he falls off the bed. So I have to, I've been trying to train him and try to tuck him into his own bed. Like I have this orthopedic bed I got him and everything. It's not like a human sized bed, it's like a dog bed. But <laughs> got on this orthopedic dog bed and he likes it, but I'm like trying to tuck him in so he thinks it's the bed, but he knows it's not, can't fool him. But he can't be in bed by himself while we're doing some things around the house because if he falls off, I don't want him to hurt himself because he's just a little old man. But, but him all tucked into bed is so cute. Mm. This is just so good. This is a perfect like hits the spot kind of moment, you know? And now that I have cucumbers all chopped up and tomatoes all ready to go and everything, it's so easy to make. Just throw all the stuff in there. But really lunch is always really hard because I never wanna make a full grand 
meal, you know what I mean? I want something quick. Right, anyways, we're gonna meet back here in a little bit. I'm gonna take off my makeup and feed the dogs and do all that kind of stuff. We're gonna meet back down here. We're gonna do some meditation. We're gonna dry our hardest. All right, we're back. We're in my basement. We're gonna do a meditation. I already picked it out. It's called mental cool down. It's only 10 minutes, which is doable for me, starting small. I like having like a little bolster thing, maybe a blanket. I might even add another pillow. It depends. I like to be kind of sitting up but relaxed back. Like this kind of, like, mm, like Dracula, but not. <laughs> She may have us sitting up. I don't know what she's doing yet. All right, so I totally wasn't even thinking mental cool down. I was just thinking after like a long day of strenuous brain exercise, but the trainer was talking about actual exercise. We didn't do that today. <laughs> I did connect my Apple Watch 300 times. You can ignore my holiday decorations over there. I've got my box for my Christmas tree. Today, our practice will be done seated. And okay, rather seated. than working out, we will so we got to move our bolsters over. We're not laying today. So if you have a meditation cushion or maybe cushion. some folded yeah, blanket, yeah, that yeah. can be really great. You're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, and then you'll fold forward, pierce the lips, and then forcefully blast the breath out. So it's going to be a little loud. Make some noise. Get it all out, <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Exhale, fold and blast. <laughs> Open your gaze so that everything blurs around you. And I like to close my eyes for practice. So do what feels good for you. I like to close my eyes and then too. I invite we'll add in a short retention at the top and the bottom of the breath. As you exhale, trusting your own intelligence to sift through and release all that does not serve you. A revitalization of all five of your senses. You can lower the hands to touch in front of your heart. Bow your chin down. That was freaking awesome. We're gonna lay. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Mm. So, let's chat. Um, that was awesome because, first of all, I've done like meditations in like, like where you relax and there's like a sound bath and stuff. And then I've done meditation on apps but I haven't done one yet like this where she has you hold your breath at the top at the of the breath and then let it out and then hold my breath in too. And I loved that. Anyways, <laughs> are we just having a slumber party or what's happening? <laughs> um, but I've never had a meditation before where they had me hold my breath at the top and the bottom of the breath, which honestly was so relaxing and so nice because I feel like I really needed that too for lung capacity situations because um, growing up I had really really bad asthma. I feel like I've talked about this before. Then when I was 17 my lung collapsed. I had a spontaneous pneumothorax is what it's called if you want to look it up. Um, and it was a so it's like a spontaneous collapsed lung so it wasn't from getting into a car accident or any sort of trauma or anything. It was just, I, I randomly got it. I was in Best Buy standing in line with my brother and I felt a cramp and all of a sudden it just started getting, it felt like a bubble or something. I, I couldn't explain it. And then I felt this sharp stabbing pain in my shoulder and then it was actual hell. I was in the hospital for two weeks because we tried um, two different treatments and uh, we tried first like a small treatment it didn't work so i had to go in with the big tube and i had to have a whole chest tube in my in my uh lung but uh to reinflate it but basically what happened is it was so painful because they thought it was going to come back up on its own but this is before i got my surgery a lot of times i guess if you have a spontaneous pneumothorax it can come up on its own especially if you're young and so they were kind of waiting to see what was going to happen with it. Uh, they waited to see if something was going to happen, if it was going to come back up, and it didn't. And it was so painful to breathe. Like, And in the morning when I'd sit up and my lung would kind of slide back down, it would just, it was so painful. I'll never forget it. And um, basically after that, I was, I kind of tricked myself like I was scared to take deep breaths for the longest time and so after my surgery I just 
was afraid that my lung was gonna collapse again or that I wasn't gonna, I don't know, I was just like afraid to take deep breaths and I think it still is kind of stuck with me. Um, and like I still have a space in like between, like I don't like I have like this much space like above my lung where my chest tube was still there but I, I mean every once in a while I'll get some pleurisy pain but um it scares me when I do because I'm like oh no my lungs collapsing even though it's not I just I'll never forget that pain so I feel like I've struggled with breathing since then just to take deep breaths like I'm afraid to or something I don't I don't know it's like some complex now anyways um so that was amazing. It felt so good. I sit with my thoughts a lot, all the time, but it's the breathing and focusing part that I, uh, that I struggle with. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's all we're doing in this vlog. I thought we'd just hang out and try some new habits and see what sticks and what doesn't. But I've noticed though, since I've included more fruits and vegetables and activity, I've noticed I've been sleeping better. And um, like, I feel like my sleep habits just in general are better. Like getting up and going to sleep seems more regular instead of just like one night staying up till 2 a.m. and the next night going to bed at 8 p.m. You know what I mean? <laughs> like something like that. But you know, just feeling a little bit more relaxed and free and rested. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of these videos of us trying some new things throughout the year. It doesn't have to be just a January New Year thing. We can try some new things and add things to the habits we're already building. Another thing I wanna include this year, I really wanna start getting up earlier eventually, but we're not there yet. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me in the new year and starting some new habits with me. Let me know in the comments any new habits you're forming for the new year or any resolutions, if you like doing resolutions, whatever you have, goals, whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve this year, let me know in the comments. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know any of your goals, resolutions, whatever you got going on. And we are moving on. We're going to be, I I've been cleaning and organizing through this whole process and filming it in a separate video. So those decluttering videos are coming right up. You're gonna see those and we've already encountered some embarrassing situations, I'll tell you that much. Um, anyways, hope you're having an amazing new year and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.